The establishment of the agro-processing St. Lucia Network of Rural Women Producers Babano Cluster Plant will assist with product research and development for the transformation of local produce into value-added agricultural products. The plant will also provide training and technical assistance as well as support for the transfer of technology for agri-business development to improve income generation and food security. President of the St. Lucian Network of Rural Women Producers Babano Cluster, Louisa Anthony, underscores the benefits of the plant to the residents of Babano, the surrounding communities, its environs, as well as the national economy. Our outlook for the agro-processing facility is that it is an asset to boost and grow business for our members and also a wider and also the wider community of agro-processors. To achieve this, we have mapped out in a working business plan a number of areas for generating revenue from the operation of the facility, as well as reach agreement on the importance of actively, actively creating space for all interested persons to work with us here. Indicating that this new investment signals opportunities, the Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Physical Planning, Natural Resources and Cooperatives, Honorable Ezekiel Joseph, challenges the people of Babono to utilize the plant efficiently. I have the fullest confidence that this place is going to be utilized properly. I have the fullest confidence. But of course, you have to take a number of things into consideration. One is how you manage it to bring the benefits that is so much necessary for you all. That's important. The management structure of this facility. Two, the question of food safety. And I'm happy that the way it was constructed, it was constructed for us to be recognized internationally because we should not only be looking at our local market, we should be looking at the regional market, we should be looking at the international market. Because the products I'm seeing being produced has that potential, Madam President. So I know we had some teething problems with the department responsible, but of course, we were able to overcome these challenges to make sure that it got the certification that it deserved to allow us to export. And here I said to allow us to export. The agro-processing plant was funded by the Banana Industry Trust at an estimated cost of approximately 500,000 EC dollars. From the Information Unit of the Department of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.